Hello and welcome to this presentation of our artistic project titled Three-Dimensional Skin Coloring of a Four-Dimensional Being. My name is Martin Skrotsky and this is joint work with Ulrike Barth. I am a scholar at the Riken Interdisciplinary Theoretical and Mathematical Science program and Ulrike is a student in the Mathematics and Computer Science program at Freie Universität Berlin. Our model is based on the morphogenic system set up by Alan Turing in the 1950s. With this model, Alan Turing aimed at explaining how skin colorings of animals arises. He assumed that there are two morphogens, one activating and one inhibiting morphogene, that interact with each other and they form these intriguing patterns. The image on the right hand side is actually an image taken from Turing's original publication. In 1984 David Young discretized this image. He gave it a slightly different formulation and this formulation by David Young as you can see on the left hand side actually enables us to use cellular automata to simulate these uh, different patterns. Depending on the parameters that you give the cellular automata, you do see different patterns. Again, on the right hand side, I'm showing you the patterns that Mr. Young achieved in his publication. Here are two outcomes of cellular automata that create Turing-like patterns for different parameters. Note that there's three parameters here. There's an initial activation probability, rho. There's an inner radius, that is the radius of the activator morphogen. And there's an outer radius, the radius of the inhibitor morphogen. Depending on these parameters, you do get such very different patterns. We can easily generalize this into 3D when we use a ball instead of an inner circle for the activator and a ball with a cavity instead of the annulus for the inhibitor morphogen. However, if we would render all the cubicle cells as solid cells now, we wouldn't see any structure so we use the marching cubes algorithm to visualize the isosurface between activated and deactivated cells. This forms the basis for our project. Starting from a random initialization, this short animation shows you the formation of three-dimensional Turing-like patterns from our cellular automata. We show you the first 17 iterations and you can see how quickly the patterns are forming. It is such a finally converged configuration that we will explore in our main artwork, a video that delves through this 3D space. 